relating to the 1998 American bombing, bombing victims, who we had earlier on asked the Minister of Health to provide medical, specialized medical health care to these uh, particular persons. Just before I came to the house, I met uh, a constituent of Makwene, who, you know, shouted frantically at the gate that he needs help from me, that his child is stuck in hospital and he has been denied access because of uh, Shah and Sheep, and yet he had paid. Mr. Speaker, these are the issues we wanted the Minister for Health uh, to elaborate. Mr. Speaker, if we allow all cabinet secretaries to say that they have just gotten ill every morning of Wednesday, and no one ever comes to answer questions here, Mr. Speaker, the country will suffer. We all appreciate that one can get sick or fall ill any time, although this House rejected uh, the time of uh, impeachment of uh, D.P. Gashagwa. Uh, it is something courts usually allow. But we want to say that uh, it is important that we have quite a, quite a number of cabinet secretaries. Even if one is taken ill, the others should be able to appear so that, uh, and they know that on Wednesdays uh, is the, our, our day with him, and even the cabinet and even their boss, the president knows that we have set aside Wednesday for this, and that's why this particular day, there's never cabinet or an engagement with them, with the president, unless it is extremely ancient. And I believe uh, cabinet secretaries should take parliament serious. They are the image of the government in this particular matter. They have failed the government terribly, uh, and something must be done. Either one is resigns if they are unable to handle the business as a cabinet secretary, or as a house, we take action, as the Senator Chute has said, so that we can discuss the conduct of this particular uh, uh, cabinet secretary. I, I, I thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I'd beg to say that it is important that the cabinet takes this house seriously. I thank you. Senator Devin Wakoli. Let's, uh, because, you know, we might uh, lament here the whole morning. So Asante. Asante Mheshimiwa Speaker kwa kunipa nafasi hii ku angalau utaja machache kuhusiana na mchecheto mzima huu wa ukosefu wa mawaziri kuja hapa kujieleza kwa mapana na marefu. Mheshimiwa Speaker Biblia inasema Yesu alipokuwa anatembea na wafuasi wakamuona mwanamke mmoja wakamuita mzinzi wakataka hata wampige mawe mheshimiwa speaker na Yesu kwa busara yake akasema nanyi nani miongoni mwenu hana dhambi yule asiye na dhambi atupe jiwe wa kwanza mheshimiwa speaker wengi walifiata midomo wakaweka mikia katikati ya miguu mheshimiwa speaker na hatimaye wakamwacha binti huyu ambaye alikuwa na shiriki biashara zake. Kile ningependa kusema mheshimiwa speaker ni kwamba hakuna mtu duniani humu hana dosari. Hakuna mtu duniani humu hana makosa. Kuteleza sio kuanguka. Na mimi naomba jumba la Senate kwamba tuna haki kikatiba kuwasikiza na wao kutupa majibu kuhusiana na changamoto zinazowakumba wa Kenya. Ni dhahiri shairi kwamba mfumo wa afya una changamoto. Tumeona viongozi wa wafanyikazi madaktari wakitoa ilani. Yote tunakubali mheshimiwa speaker na sisi chote tunachotaraji ni kwamba waziri wa afya na yule mwenzake waweze kuja katika jumba la Senate tujadili kwa pamoja na tutafute njia mbadala za kutatua changamoto hizi. Mheshimiwa speaker waziri wa afya na mwenzake wako na nafasi kwa sababu ni wataalamu wa muda mrefu wajieleze watume arafa ama waje watupe watueleze siku ambayo wamo tayari wapo watakuwa tayari wiki lijalo mheshimiwa speaker ili kazi ambayo tunayo katika jumba la senate iweze kusonga kwa kazi sasa mimi sitaki kuwa yule mfuasi wa kutupa mawe katika kundi la wale wa Kristo waliotaka uponyaji lakini ni kuomba senate iwape nafasi iwapo ni jum, wiki lijalo waje wajieleze kinagaubaga 
tufunge ukurasa wa changamoto hizi na tusonge mbele mheshimiwa spika na mwisho hawa ni mawaziri ambao ni wapya ni ufagio ambao lazima uanze kufagia na kutengeneza serikali sasa tuwape nafasi japo tuna hasira hasira za mkizi ni furaha kwa mvuvi mheshimiwa spika na sisi sio wavuvi mheshimiwa spika sisi ni jumba la senate ambalo tunawapenda wote na tuwape wote nafasi kufanya kazi kwa mujibu wa katiba na yale anaweza kufanyika kibinadamu asante mheshimiwa spika Seneta Mudigi Alexander Asante bwana speaker mimi eh, niko na usuni mkubwa kwa sababu siku ya leo wakati tulisema mawasiri watakuwa na kuja siku ya Jumatano tulikuwa tume, tuko na mahono ya kusaidia mwananchi katika masinani bwana speaker kwa sababu tukiwa maseneta sisi huwa tunatetea ukatusi na ukatusi hawa uh, mawasiri wanafanya kazi eh, katika uh, masinani ndio mwananchi aweze kuvaindika na niko na usuni pia kama sisi maseneta tunaweza kuja hapa na mambo ya ukoo ama mtu ni wa ukoo gani alafu tunaanza kutetea kwa sababu najua wakati bwana spika wale tulitimua na tukaleta wengine wapya wamekuja na unjusi ya kufanya kazi kwa sababu wanaspika wakati mtu amechaguliwa anavaa kujua siku hiyo uh, anavaa anje kazi ni kama vile Yesu alikuwa anateua watu na watu wafanya kazi kutoka siku hiyo tuko na, na, na mfano bwana spika wakati deputy muteule ambaye eh, Abraham Kendiki Kidhuri alichaguliwa alianza kazi mara moja sasa nimeshindwa kama nimeona senator mwenzangu kwa sababu mtu ni wakabira, ni wakabira yake anakuja kumtetea ukatusi tutaiua kwa sababu niko na usuni katika Embu County wasiri ambaye ni wanyama wa pori ambaye siku ya leo wiki hii wana spika e, wiki hii unakuta kiambere wond kuna kijana mmoja ameuawa na ndovu na saa hii watu familia yao hawana chochote a, na kuwa wanachanga kwa hiyo niko na usuni wana spika nataka unipe nafasi niweze kuongea kwa sababu wanawakoli rafiki yangu ameongea kamalisa niko na usuni nataka nisaindue kwa sababu mtu anaitwa John Moturi Mugo kiambere uond ambaye ameua na ndovu jana na leo mvua inanyesha na hiyo asili wanyama pori angekuwa hapa pia niko na usuni jana usiku mambo ya sha na national eh, insurance fund kuko na vita unakuta kuna mtu ametimuliwa na watu wanakuva wengine wanakojeka alafu sasa mambo mengine yanafanyika kwa hivyo bwana speaker mimi nakataa mambo ya wale maseneta wanapinga ningetaka watu wasukuruwe wasukuruwe hatua ambaye ni kali kwa sababu tuko na njia ya kufuata katiba ya serikali ya muungano asante bwana speaker talking you should also give him that opportunity because i'm the one controlling the house there was a point of order which was persistently requested by by senator wakoli and you did not give him that opportunity when you on the floor so now because he is not on the floor it is not possible to to give you the point of order yes one minute honorable speaker it is out of order utter discontent and uh, misuse of power for a colleague to rise on the floor of this house cast as passions that whenever we stand on the floor of this house we are talking on tribal basis honorable speaker i respect dr mondigi but he is he is assuming and pushing away the title doctor and uh, remaining with the mondigi alone honorable speaker he needs to withdraw that statement and talk like a doctor honorable speaker thank you mondigi what, uh, what did because you did not even mention what he said that you feel it is out of order it's on tribal lines i'm an honorable speaker speaking out of cognizance of pedagogy honorable speaker senator mudigi can you clarify that issue raised by as senator? asadi bwana speaker eh, sikwe na ubaye yote na viki yangu ambaye ni ni wakoli senator ambaye kutonga kule eh, upande wa bungoma ni rafiki wangu ni kuwa sikuwa na maneno yoyote mimi naunga wasiri wote mkono wale walichaguliwa ni vile niko na shinde kwa sababu ile mambo ya inaendelea mambo ya asha na nikashindwa kwa nini wasiri anja kuja na pia umesikia hapa nikiongea kule kiambere wondi mtu anaitwa John Muturi ambaye mugo 
ni kitu ambaye imefanya ni niwe na, na njia ya, ya kuwa mwili yangu aisikii vizuri kwa hiyo ni eh, ningeomba hiyo uh, uh, mambo nimeongea nisamewa lakini wana speaker next time wasiri wakiwa tumewatimua kwa sababu umeona hata 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 dr karwali ametoka hapa na vikio hiyo ndio kitu imefanya atoke katika hapa na tunajua watu wasiri wengine walikuja hapa walikuta wanatetemeka bwana speaker siku na mbaya bwana speaker asante na pole kwa kuumwa seneta kavid kavidu agnes Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me this opportunity. Uh, it's really sad for us to be here every Wednesday morning, and we don't see any CS coming to answer the questions. Mr. Speaker, it is important for these CSs to know that we have, we have canceled all other businesses for this house in the morning Wednesdays. Even committee meetings does not, not meet because of uh, giving this questioning time uh, uh, first priority, because we need uh, to question them about the issues that they should be doing. Mr. Speaker, I am here this morning because of uh, the 1998 bomb blast. These people are really suffering without even care from our government. And this morning I was ready to face the CS and uh, uh, let her or him uh, explain why these people cannot get medication. Mr. Speaker, we are facing a lot of trouble or at, on, at our counties, especially Machakos County, because when people go to hospital, instead of the SHA uh, put, putting up the bills, Mr. Speaker, SHA is not in operation, and people have paid, and they cannot uh, be discharged from hospitals. They keep on calling us for bills, and we keep on making phone calls to the to the to to, to NHIF to, to know what what is happening. Mr. Speaker, this is wrong, and uh, CS for uh, health must appear before this this Senate to answer questions. Even if she's she's unwell, she has an assistant or or, or the PS at the at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the ministry, they should appear. Mr. Speaker, it is not right for us to waste our time to come here every Wednesday and we find there is no work we are coming here to do. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Senator Kavidu, you know our standing order does not, does not provide appearance by any other person except the CS. So the PS is not admissible in the Senate. Uh, maybe you, you will check standing on the 51C. The Rungai Duu should appear. Only the CS should appear before the Senate. Any, we get next Senator Sigei Wakiri, Hilali. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, this house stands in a very high status under the constitution and the mandate of summoning the cabinet secretaries for purposes of responses to questions by honorable members is a very, very important role that as we have previously stated in the house, the cabinet secretaries who at any given time are required to appear have appropriate notice and the questions they are supposed to come and answer already availed to them in good time. For the honorable CSS not to appear this morning, Mr. Speaker, some of them with very flimsy reasons is an utter disrespect of the House. And being a member of the House that has come in more in this morning to ask questions regarding not only the interest of the people whom I in particular represent, but for the entire country, it is very unfortunate that we do not have them appearing in the House. At the risk, Mr. Speaker, of being um, creating an extension of the lamentations that we previously had, I have looked at the two letters from the two CSS. One, Mr. Speaker, which has been received after the House started from the CS of Health, has got an explanation that the cabinet secretary is indisposed. This, Mr. Speaker, from the previous 
resolutions of this house do not stand the reasons why a cabinet secretary is unable to appear before the house. Number two, Mr. Speaker, we had yesterday in the SBC not received this letter. The standing orders of this house, which applies to all who are required to appear, requires them to have submitted any excuse or letter in good time to justify their non-appearance. These are fly and an utter suspect in the house for the CS to write and say she's merely indisposed. I would want to agree with the Honorable Senator Chute and the rest of my colleagues who have said that it is high time we censor these cabinet secretaries who have shown disrespect to the house. We have a right to discuss their conduct and censor them, Mr. Speaker, because if they are unable to appear before the house and for no reason at all that is justifiable, then they have no business being holders of such high offices. The other one, Mr. Speaker, which is one of the reasons why we also should call them out, is a letter received yesterday, which the House Business Committee rejected by the Honorable CS for, um, um, this is what the CS said in the letter, that Mr. Speaker, today they were to attend to a prior scheduled ministerial event on black rhino ear notching and fitting of monitoring devices. This is something that a cabinet secretary can delegate to a person of the lowest rank in that particular ministry. It cannot be a reason for a CS to say he is abandoning a responsibility to appear before the house to go and uh, fit in uh, monitoring uh, devices to a rhino in, 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 in the National Park. Mr. Speaker, this is the sort of behavior that we have said before that these people, the moment they get into office, they forget that they are holding such offices for the interest of the Kenyans. And the best interest of Kenyans can only be served by appearing before this house to answer questions of national importance that represent the people who are represented by the senators in this particular house. This particular letter, Mr. Speaker, was rejected and the CS was asked to appear. We have not received any response to the letter that had indicated to him or her that we are not buying the excuse. And Mr. Speaker, it is high time that, um, as, as I've said, we censor these cabinet secretaries for them to appreciate the importance of appearing before the Senate because if they take the House the way they do with disrespect, they definitely cannot take their responsibility as cabinet secretaries as serious as it should be. And we've got so many Kenyans who are capable willing and ready to serve in such offices. So Mr. Speaker, even as we regret the time that we have wasted this morning, we also call upon the authorities relevant to call upon these re irresponsible CSS to appear before the House. We are struggling right now with the issue with regards to the health sector, the shift and share, Mr. Speaker. This would have been a very important opportunity for the Cabinet Secretary for Health to explain to the Kenyans the situation as is. Yesterday we had, and we saw uh, the, the national news carrying uh, a position taken to suspend uh, the CEO of uh, Shah, and it is a time that Kenyans need to understand the things or the positions or options the government is taking in order to make sure that they streamline the representations that we have in the Ministry of Health. And if the cabinet secretary can just wake up in the morning and say, I'm indisposed, I therefore cannot appear before the Senate. Mr. Speaker, we don't buy it. We do not accept it. It's not acceptable. And we are calling them out because they are failing Kenyans. They are failing the government that is highly expected to perform and support the programs that help the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, it is not acceptable at all. And we do not, as a house, condone such kind of a character and behavior by the cabinet secretary. Mr. Speaker, I join my colleagues in calling them out and say this is improper, and I thank you.